All right, welcome to surveying, advanced surveying, or as we like to call it in the modern day, geomatics. I like the term geomatics a little bit better than surveying. It sounds much more modern. Before we get into a three-wire leveling, um, I want to do a quick, very quick review on differential leveling. Remember, differential leveling was based on just as three-wire leveling, a set datum. Uh, I spelled that wrong. Datum. Datum. That's a U. And it was usually zero. Zero elevation. Okay? And then we'd have, you know, our ground or surface that we were measuring from. We'd set up our instrument somewhere in the middle of these two rods, which represented the foresight and the backside, so I'll call this BS and I'll call this FS for backside and foresight. And in differential leveling you would read one one um, measurement for for the backside and one measurement for the foresight. And from this information you could actually figure out what the height of the instrument was. So I'll call HI uh, represents height of the instrument. The data was zero, so if you wanted to figure out what the height of the instrument was, if you wanted to figure out what HI was, <clears throat> you would actually take the elevation, I'll call it big E, elevation of the backside, and the elevation of the backside was this point, <clears throat> plus backside reading. So whatever you measured on the rod. So the elevation of this point plus the backside reading, which is this, would give you the height of this instrument. From there you can continue on um, to measure out the foresight, uh, figure out what the elevation of this point was, and um, keep going. <clears throat> so that was just a quick review of differential leveling. Um, there's one more thing I want to review or introduced before getting into three-wire leveling is um, stadia intervals. Stadia intervals. So when you look through your instrument, you'll notice that there's a little, there's a, there's these, I guess you could call them crosshairs. Uh, that's supposed to be in the center. But when you look in through your instrument through the telescope, you'll notice that there's there's a point of inter intersection there there's also these marks at the top and bottom we'll call the top mark T for top we'll call the middle intersection M for middle and we'll call the bottom mark B and I want to introduce uh, stadia intervals and this is kind of the oops that's out of screen and this is kind of the backbone to three-wire leveling. <clears throat> so, I'm going to call delta the stadia interval. Delta is the stadia interval. And all, all the stadia interval is is the difference in measurement of the top minus the bottom. So whatever measurement you read from the top mark minus your bottom is delta. It's called a stadia interval. Now the half stadia or delta over 2 which is your half stadia is equal to your top minus bottom which is also equal to your middle minus bottom. So why is half stadia and stadia so important? Well, when you're taking measurements in three-wire leveling, you want to make sure that your half stadias, your top minus middle and your middle minus bottom measurements are roughly the same. Um, and by roughly the same, I mean to at least the point zero zero one accuracy. So let's do a quick example. If we were... <clears throat> looking through our telescope and we noticed or we measured out that the top read 
3.220, the middle red 2.105, and the bottom red a flat 1.000, we could figure out that the half stadia, one of the half stadias, which is the top minus the middle, if you do 3.220 minus 2.105, you get 1.115. <clears throat> and the half stadia for the middle minus the bottom, which is 2.105 minus 1, you would get 1.105. Now, these two distances, or these two measurements, are not, they don't, they don't check. And by not checking, I mean they're too roughly far apart. They're actually off by a lot. They're only good up to the first decimal place. The second decimal place, there's a difference. <clears throat> and that's not good. So when you're measuring three-wire leveling and you're looking through the telescope and you, you find your three measurements, you always want to check if your half stadias are... Um, good enough, meaning the top minus middle should be about the same as the middle minus bottom. If it's good, you keep going, you keep measuring the other points. If not, you'd want to reconsider measuring um, the the point where where they're not equal. The top minus middle is not equal. Um, so that's kind of the introduction to three wire leveling, or some of the stuff you should know before we actually get into three wire leveling. Uh, we'll continue. Uh, this in the next video.